Hello, welcome to SARIC training. And this training will pass through three items. The first one is how to log in to the SARIS. The second one is course registration. And the third one is how to view the academic records. So before doing anything, first you need to know where are you going to find the SARIS. So the first step is just to open up your browser and uh, in your browser just write uh, 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 www.out.ac.tz which is university website in a university website uh, we have two places where we can locate a service the first one is in online course online services we'll find a service there and another place you just scroll down and uh, in online e-resources you will find a service there so just pick up a service and click now you are you are in a login page so you 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 have to to write your username and password there so just write your username yeah this one and uh, write your password then click sign in you now in a SARS system so in a SARS system we just do the following activities first as we see there login we now in the SARS system the second one is course registration so we'll see how a student can register the courses academic records e-learning we we'll see there e-voting communication security and sign out now we are going to course registration so just click course registration uh, at first you you'll have no courses which is has been registered so you just need to add one by one so just add the courses that you are going to study in a new academic year so just register a course by by clicking add new courses then you will have a list of courses there so you just go to a search by course code now just click in a box then write a course code to search for the course uh, the first one is OFP 012 just search you will see a course there click add course now the course will be added as uh, academic year course code course title unit unit cost total cost and the option if you are you 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 if you want to change you can delete and add a new course so if we have another course just click add a new course again and search for course you want to register OFP 013 then search the course will be there just click add now you have another courses so you have been you have registered two courses uh, then uh, there is uh, all options there so just add another course by clicking add a new course just search for course OFP 016 search the course will be there click add another one so just click another add new course until your all courses for new academic year are finished so just click add a new course search for another course or fp 017 click search the course will be there click add now after finishing to add your all courses for new academic year then in order to proceed with another pro, with another step you need to confirm the course registration but you have to make sure that these 
uh, courses that you are going to start for academic year so just now click here to confirm your course registration but you have to note that confirmation should be the last step as once done there is no way to roll or to undo it therefore handle confirmation with care so if you are sure just click here to confirm your registration now confirmation process completed is successful you now need to print the invoice so that to, to, to get the cause information. Now print invoice is another step in a cause registration. We print an invoice, then will be downloaded there. You will see all causes, uh, cost fee items, first installment, due date second installment and other informations and there at the, at the top you will see the student information now the another step is just to see bills and payment and to create a Moodle password after completing the course registration printing invoice and checking for bills and payment you now need to generate or to create a Moodle password. But before that, you have to make sure that you have paid the first installment of the fee as indicated in your invoice. Now, after paying the first installment, just click Create Moodle Password. Then you will see the box which is Enter SIP Code. Now SIP code is has been generated in your invoice so you can check for for your invoice and copy the SIP code. Now this is your invoice and this is SIP code or invoice number. Just copy it then go to your service system enter SIP code then paste it there then click create model password now your model password is that one and please use your username and password that one to to, to log into learning management system